here we are it's uh was it april 12th april 12th april 13th something like that and we're just about getting ready to go out up to uh, strathcona lake about 20 minute drive uh, west of uh, campbell river on the gold river road we'll take rover the drone the cameras see what we can get filmed today and get a video out later you ready to go tina yep hi yep Rover's already at the back door. <laughs> okay, so drone, phones, everything's charged up and we're getting ready to go. Rover, here he comes. You ready to go? Hey, Rover, yeah, he's gone. He's done. Yeah. So we're just driving up the Gold River Road now. This is Gold River Road. Towards uh, Strathcona Dam. Last time we went, it was uh, ice. Here's the, um, the Astra Strathcona Dam campsite. The one we did uh, a couple of months ago when it was icy and freezing cold and overcast. Then we got how many sites we got? 21? 21. There we go, lovely. Uh, did you bring the lead? No, it's people Rover, come see mum. No. Nah. I don't know if this is the campsite that we came to. Hey, go and see mum. Hey, on your lead. On your lead. Go and see mum, go on. Hey, go and see mum. He doesn't want to be on lead, but this is a on leash campsite, most probably. To it says otherwise, he goes on the lead. Yeah. Now, if you remember, we come here a few months ago and it was bitterly cold, overcast. So we just have a quick shifty round. I don't know if the water level's gone down even more. Wow, yeah, it looks like it. You can see these smashing campsites here. And last time we just had uh, overcast grey skies. picnic tables yep I think that water level's definitely gone down a bit I'll have to pull up some footage from before, see how much that water level's dropped. This is crazy, I mean the amount of rain we've had in the last two months. Snow, rain. I mean this is like the end of summer maybe, but not in the start of, uh, or the uh, start of spring. This is crazy luck. But the boat ramp sort of pretty much ends here and we've got another 50 60 feet of uh, ground oh my gosh look at it this is very very low you 
can see on the trestle over there, I think the different colour of the legs and how the darker legs would be above the waterline and the lighter colour would have been below the waterline at one time. Still one hell of a campsite and uh, I mentioned it a few times last time this campsite is free you do not have to pay to camp here there's uh, no showers or running water you have to get your water from the lake I guess or uh, bring it with you and uh, they have pit toilets otherwise you have to use your black water tank and your grey water tank. You might be able to get rid of your grey wood, I'm not too sure. Still feel the cold air. There's a two week limit, you can't stay more than 14 nights and I believe there's normally a host on this campsite so it's free for two weeks then you've got to move on, give someone else a chance to stay here and you can't just come in, dump your camper and disappear and come back a few days later, they don't allow that either if you take a spot you have to use the spot No. Uh, using the taking a spot up and then coming back at the weekend when you got a bit of time off and hoping your camper will still be here because I think they're going to tie it away and there's the entrance to the campsite over there they had to come up a logging road for about half a mile I just parked at the other I guess the emergency exit I didn't want to come up on the logging road in locking roads can be hard on windscreens sometimes. But look at this lovely weather now. Oh, I think that's the host. There's the host down there. Got garbage bins. get back shall we yeah that's a little bit of a walk around the um, Campbell what do they call it Strathcona Dam campsite run by BC Hydro free campsite for 14 days of uh, at a time and then you have to leave well looked after basic like i say no toilet blocks no showers no dump station no electricity most probably no internet you come here you're pretty much self-sufficient bring your water maybe get water out of the lake if you want you boil it filter it just a, a little uh, fyi if you're not used to you know primitive campsites this is what a pit toilet or the uh, the pit toilets look like basically they're just holes in the ground with a toilet seat on no flush we are getting used to but uh, they're nice and airy so they don't smell a bit cold but uh, don't expect uh, flush toilet showers and hot and cold running water here maybe we might go a little bit further and uh, see Strathcona Lodge so we'll see what it's like when we get up there. So this is the Upper Campbell Lake. This is a little turn off and parking spot where you can get down to uh, maybe an un 
posted unregistered campsite there's someone camping down there now I don't know if you're allowed to stay overnight but I believe it's also got a boat ramp not the the nicest of uh, entrances of course it's a little bit rocky so you wouldn't want to bring anything too nice down here no picnic tables nope so this is just a very basic day use lay by campsite maybe unofficial campsite wow look at those views well, there we go the wind's blowing now Rover almost invisible amongst the rocks. <laughs> There's fire pits. Oh, the water level's really low. Hard to imagine all the rain we got. I don't know whether they're just uh, emptying the dam because there's some problem with the dam or something, I don't know, but wow. There's a big drop off here. So, looks like we're at least 8 to 10 foot lower than normal, it's not good. And uh, the logging roads and the clear cuts on the mountain over there. If we carry on up the lake, I'm not too sure if we're going to do it today, Tina's working this afternoon. We've got Myra Falls and up behind those snowy capped mountains you're going to have marble meadows which are absolutely beautiful but uh, one hell of a hike up a mountain overcast it was like this when we set off but by the time we got there the clouds had blown over so we're going to do a remake of that nice campsite I'll show you these burn piles a burn pile is a um, collection of wood after the loggers have been in and uh, they'll burn these maybe on a rainy day and we've seen loads of them I'll just swing it around here now mow the, mow the trees down like grass Excuse me, we've got the hiccups. And then uh, take away the good lumber and uh, burn the rest. I don't think you can get an idea of how big these burn poles are. Let me uh, give you maybe some perspective. Another one over there, and uh, they're just disappearing up the hill. The 
this nice log here. Thank you. 